very bright good morning to all of you my dear students hope all of you children are very good and taking good care of yourself so children you remember what we were doing in the last class yes we had already started with our new lesson that is lesson number four understanding reverse okay and we already proceeded with the lesson so children what did we do we'll just do a quick recap okay children what did we do in the last lesson if you all remember even if you don't remember we'll do a quick recap okay first what did we do children in the last class we learned about the journey of a river how a river travels okay and you all know the journey of a river is divided into three areas and what are the three areas high areas middle areas and low areas okay children the journey of a river is divided into high areas middle areas and low areas then thirdly what we did what we knew we learned about the source of a river and where is the source of a river the source of a river is in the high area okay children the source of a river is in the high area then the sediments are river deposits where does the sediments are river deposits it deposits in the middle areas okay if you all remember and then we studied about the mouth of a river and the formation of delta okay mouth of a river is where the river meets the ocean or a sea okay and there it again deposits silt or whatever muddy and rocky materials it brings from the high areas and this leads to the formation of delta and where does the mouth of river and formation of delta is for is takes place in the journey of a river it takes place in the low areas okay children so this is this was the quick recap of our last lesson of the last class sorry of the last class that we did now children we will proceed to today's class what we will do today now children in the third page okay in the third page of your chapter that is lesson number four you can see a very beautiful picture has been shown and what is this picture is about a picture showing the course of a river it shows the course of a river okay children and what does it shows it shows children what does it shows wait just a second i'll show you it shows children the source from where the from where a river starts then a two new concepts okay tributary and distributary children tributary and distributary these two new concepts we'll study today okay then here it's shown the mouth or delta here children you can see this is the mouth of a river and here this triangular piece of land you can see and it's formed there okay so this is the mouth where the river meets the ocean or sea and here you can see a triangular piece of land is formed and this is delta then we have river bank again what is river bank river bank is the sides of a river okay when a river flows okay the sides okay it has a river bank always has two banks okay and through the banks the river will flow on either side the land that is that is present that is called river bank so children today we'll study two very important concepts that is tributary and distributary so let's see what is tributary and what is distributary children now in your book itself it's given okay smaller streams and rivers from different places which join the main river are called tributaries now what are tributaries tributaries are smaller streams okay small streams and rivers from different places which join the main river okay the main river is flowing and other smaller river and streams they come from different places and join the main river then those small rivers or smaller streams are called tributaries 
let me show you a picture children then it will be more cl clear to you now suppose children you can see here a picture of a main river flowing and here you can see many smaller rivers and streams are coming and joining it okay many small rivers are coming streams are coming and joining it and these are children what are these these are tributaries okay and you can see the river is flowing and flowing and flowing and many smaller streams are coming and joining it and all these are tributaries and this is the main river and the other smaller rivers and streams that are joining it are tributaries now let's see the next concept what we have then the next concept as i said is of distributaries now what are distributaries when the main river breaks in the middle different streams are formed these are called distributaries when the main river the main river okay when it breaks in the middle different streams are formed these are called distributaries sometimes what happens before it meets the ocean or seas also then also it breaks or sometimes in the middle also it the main river it just breaks and it forms many different streams and these small small streams which comes out from the main river it's called distributaries when i show you a picture it will be more clear to you okay so here children you can see a picture and what is this picture this picture is of distributed now you can see here a main river is coming okay from the top and then suddenly it breaks into smaller smaller rivers and streams okay you can see so many rivers and streams are branching out from the main river and these are all distributaries okay these are all distributaries again i would like to show which are the distributaries these are the distributaries okay the main river is flowing and then suddenly it breaks out into smaller smaller rivers and streams and these are called what children these are called distributaries okay so children is it clear to you now what are distributaries and what are tributaries okay so let's proceed with our next topic which is silt okay now what is silt this concept will study today soil brought down from mountains by rivers is called silt during the rainy season rivers become full and flow over their banks as a result neighboring areas get flooded when the water from the flood flows away mud or silt is left behind yes children what happens when a soil when the rivers that bring the soil from the mountains you all know i have shown you a picture also how a river brings the rocky materials soil from the mountain areas from the high areas and then it deposits the low areas it deposits okay it lies at the bottom of a river but what happens when during rainy season it becomes full the rivers become full of water and what happens the silt that that lies at the bottom of the river that also come up comes up with the rivers and it flows to the banks of the river okay and when the rivers during rainy season they flood the nearby areas and then when the rainy season is over when the flood is over the rivers dry up what happened what does it leaves behind it leaves behind the soil okay the silt and this soil is called silt is left behind let me show you a picture children this is a picture okay it's like sandy 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 particles okay it's like sand this is silt that is left behind when a river after overflowing when it overflows its banks okay it overflows we all know in assam every year we face what happens we face flood and what happens when the river dries up this land is this type of soil is left behind in the areas where the river then again goes to its main course and the area which is left behind you will find this type of um silt this type of land okay and it's something very dry and it's very rich in minerals also it's very good for the growth of plants 
so this is left behind and it's like sand okay not exactly dry sand but it has moisture water in it so one more picture i would like to show you children this okay now you can see here children the river must have overflown okay and when it overflows what happens there is only water there and then when again it dries up after the rainy season is over it, when if again it goes back first it comes here okay water only comes here and then afterwards when it goes back what it leaves behind this silt is le left behind okay children so children i hope it's clear to you so today what did we learn children we learned two very important three very important con concepts okay one is tributary one is distributary and the other is sill what is tributary when small rivers and streams join the main river it's called what children it's called tributary then distributary when the main river it breaks into small streams and rivers those small streams and rivers are called distributary okay and then third concept we have learned about the silt what is silt when during rainy season the river overflows its banks and when again that when the rainy season is over it goes back it is to its natural course what is left behind on the banks of a river some uh, rocky materials some land is left behind and what substance you'll find on the banks of the river that is called silt it's somewhat like a like sand not exactly like dry sand but it has it wet sand okay it's like wet sand okay children so children we shall stop till here everyone you please go through what i have explained and please read the lesson and also you try to understand if you don't understand rewatch my video so till then take care and bye bye